Hi, welcome to Keep It Cool. I'm Luke Fur and I build custom water cooling PC. Today I'm going to show you how I would water cool in the Fantec MV5 case. I like this case a lot better versus the MV7 because the MV7 has a blank space on top of the motherboard, which looks weird in my opinion. The MV5 is more compact. It has a PSU bump in the bottom, but I think it looks better. The motherboard that I'll be using is X670E. A gaming Wi-Fi from Asus. And this is what it would look like inside the case. I have two other builds similar to this. The Corsair 6500 build and the NZXT H9 Flow. With that in mind, let's start this build and keep it cool. Hey, welcome back. Everything that you see here is in the link in the video description. I decided to use this CPU block because it matches perfectly with this GPU block. And then this is the non-LCD screen for the pump. I have um, equipment to help me do my bends. I have a heat gun, tube cutter, and a bit that will smooth out my edges. Pop tube to help me measure my distances and my bends for my tubes. All my bends will be 90 degree bends. The first bend I'm gonna do is uh, I have to go this direction, which is left, go underneath the GPU, go behind the GPU, and then into the GPU fitting here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter in the back of the GPU. That way it prevents any large particle from entering my water blocks. I went ahead and measured out the distances and the bends for this uh, first two. It looks a little complicated, but I'm gonna break this into three parts. So I'm gonna go left, down 90 degree, in 90 degree, up 90 degree, and right 90 degree. So since I have this filter here, it's gonna break my bends into three parts. I'm gonna add a 90 degree, so there's one less bend I have to do. And then this filter will be here. So the first bend I'm gonna do is left, down 90, and in 90 into this filter. And second bend is gonna be from up and right.
second bend is going to be from the GPU into the CPU block. It's a simple 90 degree angle. Next spin is going to go from the CPU into the top radiator. It's going to be another easy 9 degree angle. So from this radiator, we want to go back into this other radiator. It's going to be another 90 degree. This next bend is going to be from radiator back into the pump. In order to do that, we have to go out, go down 90 degree, and you see how this is not lined up. So I'll have to go out 90 degree to the left, and as soon as I make that 90 degree left, I have to make that 90 degree down. So it's gonna be something like this. Let me do that measurement one more time. So this, this sort of bend is easy once you get used to it. All you have to do is bend a 180 and then make that 290 degree from that 180. Last but not least is this drain port. I'm gonna do a 90 degree on it. 